Hey, you seem overly happy. What happened? Do you live around here? Yeah, down the street. Want to show me? I may have had the perfect ending of the summer. Have you seen Rachel today? I don't think she's at school yet. Wow, I feel so stupid. Don't say that. You're not stupid at all. I've been looking for you everywhere. You like her, don't you? What did she say? Oh, I'm sorry, I need to go. What was that all about yesterday? What are you talking about? You totally blew off Justin. I did not. I told him I had to go. And what was so important that you couldn't miss? You know the guy I was telling you about? Yeah, the bar guy, right? I saw him at school. Are you sure you weren't just hallucinating? No, I'm serious. I saw him walking down the hall. With his amazing brown hair blowing through the air. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he goes to our school now. Maybe. Has there been any new kids at the school recently? I don't know. Let me just go check my big folder of new kids that come to our school. Do you have to make a joke about everything? What if he's married? With three kids. Two boys and a girl. You do that on purpose, don't you? Come on. You know you love me. We met when one of us was a bit tipsy. Uh, and we never really officially met. The no name bar guy? Yeah, you can call me that. But I would prefer Ethan. So, that's your name. Well, thanks again, Ethan, for helping me out. But how did you get my number? I guessed it. You know when it's meant to be? The world just magically puts two people together. Great story, but how did you really get it? I know a few people. Seeing as you must have went through a lot to get in contact with me, how can I help you? Meet me at the corner of Rose and Pitt Street tonight at 6.30. And why would I do that? You owe me. I hope you remember. What if I don't come? Then you'll be going against fate. I don't really believe in that stuff. I'll see you then, Miss Taylor. Okay, so this is the plan. You're going to find Rachel and tell her how you feel. Oh, isn't that a smart idea? If I had the confidence to, I would have done it already. Well, suck it up and be a man. Because you know all about that. I just know a true man when I see one. And... At the moment, you haven't reached that level yet. What are you going to do? Teach me how or something? <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm Ben. Shayla. You must have been lovers in a past life. I'm different. You can tell me anything. How'd you find that out? Because I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to know you, Mrs. Montgomery. Me too, Mr. Montgomery. Check out the all-new season of Shayla and Ben coming soon to YouTube. Aw, oh, what's wrong? Can't cut your tongue? You're outstanding, Mr. Ray. I'm gonna give this city what it deserves. I lost the baby! I didn't know you were pregnant! Just because she's gone doesn't mean you have to be the new bitch in town. Not what it looks like, Justin. Okay, Rachel. You can do this. It's going to be fine. He's just a guy. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Unless Madison was right. What if he's older? And, and married with kids? Oh my god. What if he's like a serial killer and I'm the next victim? He's going to pick me up, act all nice, and then take me somewhere and- Oh come on. That's ridiculous, Rachel. Don't think like that. But maybe just in case. I should call Madison. She might know what to do. Too late. Oh boy. He's hotter than I remember. And he looks so kind and sweet. That's it. I'm gonna do it. I want an adventure, and this is my chance.
But I don't see the point. She obviously doesn't like me. Yet. You're going to make your best friend like me? Why? I didn't say I was going to force her to go out with you. Then what are you talking about? Take me out on a date. What? Don't worry. I don't like you. Okay, good. I mean, that's fine. Focus, Justin. I'm listening. Wait, what are we going to do again? We're going to find another girl to like. Wait! What time do I pick you up? Friday, 6.35. Don't be late.